need any more air? Just ventilation, yeah. That's fine. Is that too much or good? That's probably fine, yeah. Okay. And just look at the camera there. Say your first and last name and where you're from. Jim Roll, Illinois. All right. We're doing five laps today in the GT3 RS with Buddy. Right. Now, last couple things. Just remember out on the track, if at any time cars are passing one another, uh, during that pass, I just have to have a hand on the wheel. Okay. And we're not driving. We're just keeping two cars from coming together because we have the mirrors. We know when we're clear of the other car. Yep. Um, but real important, don't let go. <laughs> right? yeah. A lot of guys will do that. Now, when you accelerate, uh, obviously we can go full throttle, but it's important to squeeze the throttle, ease into it. Right. If you've been on track before, you know yep. smooth is yep. fast, but try to avoid the little, that little punch at the end. Right. When we get up to the orange cones, we want to try to complete the majority of that brake while we're straight, so not breaking hard down into the yep. turn. Once I get you to the speed, I know the car goes through the turn, I'll say release the brake, come off, balance through your turn. Apex, throttle as you're unwinding coming yep. out of the turn. Now, since you've been on track before, and Josh is real good usually about mentioning this in the discovery laps, but we have the three straightaways that don't have the exit cone. Right. We have the turn in, the apex, and the exit. Short straightaway before the hill, straightaway after the hill, and this one here in front of the building. Those three consecutive straightaways don't have that green cone to the outside. Now, not seeing a cone there, your eyes tend to follow the black marks that are all the way to the outside of the track. Those are from the drift car, not the students. So it kind of throws you off a little bit. Yeah. So like when you come up to the hill, the little short straightaway before the hill where the orange cones yep. are, the blind hill. When you come up to that, right at your apex here, it's just about middle of the track and then gradually back right. But stay right when you go over the hill because that's right. where the next turn in cone is. Now, once you peak the top of the hill, you wait till you're over the top and you're on the downside. When you come down that straightaway, same thing. About middle of the track, once you're straight, use the entire length of that straightaway, kind of like a diagonal line to come across. Okay. Okay. And last but not least, coming out of this one here, same thing. Okay. Because if you come way out, then you're at the peak of your throttle trying to turn and get back to the other side. But it's just using the whole straightaway to make that transition. Okay. All right. Steering wheel right now is turned all the way right, so go one full turn to the left. <laughs> there you go. And is it a special day, birthday or anything? Or no. Just having fun? No. My uh, family lives out here, my daughter lives here, and so I thought, you know, every spring I want to do another car. It Very just, cool. Now you got reason to come here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I yeah, we're going to retire here too, so I may be here more often. See, and unlike you, I live here. I'm going to try to retire back further that way. Oh, really? <laughs> back east somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so foot on the brake. Yep. And we're in first. We're going to go sport. No, we just stay that way. Okay, there. just there right we go. Anywhere. We're going to go straight ahead and to okay. the left. Yeah, and that's not me. That's just policy there. Give it a little gas. That'll go over that bump there. So is it came in your daily driver? Yeah. All right. uh, in the summer. <laughs> okay. Mercedes I drive in the winter. And the oh. Mercedes has paddle. Okay. See, in town, those the paddles make no sense. But on track, they're the only way to go. Well, they're nice for when I'm merging. Because Mercedes likes to get in the wrong gear all the time. <laughs> yes. And I'm going to wait. give him just a little room here. And I'll wait for that one there, too. That way we'll be spaced out yeah. pretty good. Gonna be coming around for his second lap too, so he's gonna be picking up the pace. I'll let him go too. Because he'll be done in just a half a lap. Alright, just smooth throttle right up on track.
right on that stripe there. It's the only place you can't look through the turn and look where you want to go because your apex is around the turn. Okay. Here, it goes straight ahead. I'll talk more about that in a moment. We're going to park right next to the silver, or next to the green one. Okay. Um, when you go straight here, you're making a right angle turn. Go just to the left over here by these orange cones. This is on turn one? This is the one going, making that straight line yeah. through the chicane. So you peak your turn at that green cone. You're not facing that green oh, cone, okay, making okay, a right okay. angle turn. So that's like the most outer peak of your turn, where the apex is the most inner part of your turn. That would be the most outer peak of your turn, basically. Okay. Okay, was that on five? Yeah. <laughs> they go quick. Yeah, that does go quick. Now, I will double check. I have a lap counter, but okay. if we do make mistakes. And if I did make a mistake, that's benefit to you because we'll get, I'll give you an extra. Okay. <laughs> but pull up just a little bit till we hit that little bump there. Okay. Should be right there. All right, now back off the bump there. And turn your wheel all the way right until it stops. 